This is Lee Professor Q at your service. All right, family. You know, I try to talk AI all day, all the time. Microsoft dropped seven fall 2025 updates to Copilot that are redefining how we work, learn, and create. These aren't just tweaks. These are game changing features that redefine what Copilot can do across Windows, Microsoft 365, and beyond. Let's break them down one by one. You guys know what time it is. It's time for instruction. Before we start, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, hit that like and subscribe button to help me grow the channel and get more AI news and training out there to you. It is much appreciated. Plus, you don't want to see a grown man like me cry if you don't. First up, one of the most notable introductions is Micro, a small animated companion that is available within Copilot's voice enabled experience, including the Copilot apps on Windows, iOS and Android, as well as in study mode and other conversational contexts. It serves as an optional visual companion that appears during interactive or voice based sessions rather than across all co-pilot interfaces. I don't know, family, this micro assistant, it's as underwhelming as my chief's performance in Super Bowl 59 against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, don't worry, the way my chiefs are playing this season, I predict we will be back to make history in Super Bowl 60 with another world championship. Second is groups. This is a shared co-pilot session where up to 32 participants can brainstorm, co-author, or plan simultaneously. From distributed teams, it effectively merges a meeting chat, task board, and generative workspace. Copilot maintains context, summarizes decisions, and tracks open actions. Third is memory and personalization. Long-term contextual memory lets Copilot recall key details, training plans, dates, goals, and at the user's direction. Memory and personalization and connectors effectively extend a lightweight orchestration layer across Microsoft's ecosystem. As the presenter explained that Copilot's memory naturally picks up on important details and remembers them long after you've had a conversation, yet remains editable. Fourth is Copilot mode in Edge. This update converts Microsoft Edge into an AI browser that summarizes, compares, and executes web actions by voice. Copilot mode in Edge stands out for offering AI assistant information workflows. The browser can now parse open tabs, summarize differences, and perform transactional steps. The fifth update in Copilot is on Windows 11. Now, Copilot now functions as an embedded assistant with the wake word, hey, Copilot. Users can initiate context-aware commands without leaving the desktop, drafting, documentation, troubleshooting, configuring issues, or summarizing system logs. You have Copilot Vision now in the early deployment, which adds visual comprehension. It staff, uh, IT staff can capture a screen region and ask Copilot to interpret error messages, explaining configuration options, or generate support tickets automatically. Combined with Copilot Pages, which supports up to 20 current file uploads, this enables more effective cross-document analysis for audits, RFPs, or code reviews. The sixth fall update is the Anthropic Claude integration. Anthropic models rolled out alongside OpenAI models and Microsoft Copilot Studio. With the choice of Anthropic and OpenAI models for orchestration, chat, and deep reasoning scenarios in Copilot Studio, you have greater flexibility in how you design and optimize agents and workflows to transform business processes. Anthropic models are now available to customers in early release cycles environments worldwide. 
check out my previous Anthropic Cloud video to get more details on how this works. The seventh and final update I want to share with you is the agent mode and office agent in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now, Microsoft just unveiled these modes and they're calling it Vibe Working. What's that? It's a new way to work where your AI doesn't just assist, it acts on your behalf. You have what's called agent mode, which lets Copilot take initiative instead of waiting for you to ask. It proactively handles tasks like summarizing meetings, drafting emails, or even following up with your team. You set the vibe, Copilot handles the flow. Then next you have what's called agent mode, this is a personal workplace concierge. It knows your calendar, your documents, your meetings, and it helps prep, follow up, and stay organized across Outlook, Teams, and more. You know, think of it as your AI-powered chief of staff. Family, I'm going to have to do a dedicated video on agent mode and office agents in another video. So what does this all mean? Microsoft just isn't adding AI. They are re-imaging productivity. Whether you're a student, a teacher, or a content creator, or business pro, Copilot is becoming your digital coworker, creative partner, and data analyst all in one. For a deeper integration across Microsoft 365 to personalization and customization, Microsoft is clearly positioning Copilot as your everyday AI partner. Whether you're a student, a creator or running a business. Remember this, these updates are going to impact your workflow. So let's start using these features. Let's end on this note. Your learning journey won't happen overnight, but if you quit, it won't happen at all. Until the next one, I'm out.